Well, hello everybody out there in YouTube land. I hope you're all fun, fun. I hope you're fine and dandy. That's what I meant to say. So today is, um, we find ourselves in the beautiful country of Wales. Please try and block out the noise coming from the back with Fox. So we find ourselves in the beautiful country of Wales once again, visiting Hazel's brother. And um, we've come to a, a park, is it a national park, isn't it? What's it called, Hazel? Uh, Busk, Busk? Uh, no, Usk. Oh, Usk Valley, I beg your pardon. So we're in the Usk Valley, it's absolutely stunning. And I would get some footage of it. I'll turn you around and have a quick look at it. But there's not a lot going on here because, uh, I mean, rugged. It's absolutely stunning and rugged. But the only drawback is that there's a mist because it's, um, it's we're on quite top of cold. A well, we're on top of a very large hill. <laughs> but yeah, I'll turn you around, have a quick look, see what you think. So there you go, guys. That's the view that we've got. We're, I think we might be going up there at some point later. I'm not too sure. And then it sweeps around into like this vista here. This is where the car park at the minute. And um, yeah, it's absolutely stunning, but you can't really get a very good view of it because obviously, oh, hello. <laughs> Just saw a dog go past. Um, because as I say, there's a, there's a mist out there that's covering a multitude of the beauty. But hopefully that'll burn off as the day goes on and I'll be able to get you some better footage of it. Hopefully. I. So yeah, so we're here for a couple of days visiting Hazel's brother and um, his wife and children. And... Uh, yeah, it's very, very nice. It's very relaxing. Now, I didn't put any videos up the other day like I said I was. I said I was going to put up some uh, paranormal videos, but um, they've sort of taken a back seat at the minute for various reasons. Um, I will be putting a video up later today explaining why, probably today or tomorrow, at some point anyway. But the reason that I not put any paranormal videos up is purely and simply because um well i've not been well because i've had that bug as you guys know although it's gone now so that's good um but i think that i've sort of come to the natural conclusion come to the end of my paranormal investigator career um it's not it's not the field that i started in um, when I started all those years and years and years ago, there weren't that many people involved in it. It was quite a specialised thing. Um, but as the years have gone on and various TV programmes have kind of showcased it, uh, other people have become involved. And it's not what I would call a... Well, it's not the friendliest of um, environments to be in. It's not the friendliest of hobbies as it used to be. Uh, there's been a lot of backstabbing in it, lots and lots of problems caused by different people. And subsequently, I think that I've just about had enough of it. Um, so I'm probably going to be calling it a day. There will be the occasional paranormal video that will go up, um, but it will be rather, rather infrequent. But I will concentrate more on doing other stuff. I do do other things, apart from paranormal investigating. Um, I'm... Um, yeah, I've got other hobbies. Um, I, the things that you guys don't really know about me is that I also love slingshots. I love uh, catapults and, um, you know, I don't go out and kill anything with them, but I just love sort of shooting catapults at different targets. I get a lot of fun out of that. So I'll probably do some of my catapult videos. Um, and you can probably see how bad I am at it. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm not great, but I'm okay. I'm passable. Um, so I'll probably be putting a few of those up at some point, different types of catapults that I've got. Um, and I've got some real doozies, real corkers. Uh, what else is it? Um, I used to do, believe it or not, I used to do wild camping. Well, I haven't done that for a couple of years. Um, so I'll be getting back into that. I'll be going out and doing some wild camps as well, putting them up as videos. So there's a whole new flavor of things going on and there'll be different subjects that i will be um putting up into or onto my channel um but the paranormal stuff will take a very 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 distant back seat and it who knows after this year after the next couple that i've got i'm dedicated to a couple now but after i've done those chances are i might just 
move away from it entirely and not have anything to do with it. But we'll have to wait and see what, what pans out with that. Um, I'm still not sure at the moment. I'm definitely sure that I've had enough of the the, the, the field and um, certain factors in the field, um, it, which is a shame. It's sad, but, you know, this is what happens, isn't it? Everything has its day. Everything has a shelf life and things come to their natural conclusion. So that's probably what's happened here. I will, I'm, as a possibility, I'll be changing the name of the channel because obviously if I'm not going to concentrate on that much in the way of paranormal, there's no point in having Dan's Haunted Cottage as a, as a, as a name for the channel. It's going to have to be changed to something else. But we shall see. Um, not quite sure what yet, but we'll see, we'll see. So, yeah, I understand if people don't want to stay with the channel because they only subscribe for the paranormal. Um, but if, you know... If you want to leave, that's absolutely fine. I completely understand. I thank you for coming along on the journey. Um, it's probably been about a year now, I guess. Maybe a little bit longer. I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, I thank you for coming along on the journey. I thank you for subbing to me. And if you wish to unsub, that's completely understandable. And if you wish to stay with me and just enjoy a different flavour of channel um, by the same person, obviously, then that'll be great as well. As I say, there will be some sort of bushcrafting, um, there will be some wild camping and there will be uh, definitely some some catapult uh, bits and bobs going on and maybe I also do a bit of archery as well so I might be able to show you different bows and that, that I use and um, yeah do a couple of do a couple of uh, shooting uh, bow shooting videos so yeah that's it guys um, thanks for all of your um, support and uh, thanks for subbing to me it's really appreciated I really do appreciate you guys and I really am thankful for you subbing to me and I will speak to you at a later date. Speak to you soon, guys. Cheers. Oh, by the way, I might show you a bit more of Wales as we go on. So don't uh, don't think this is the end of the video just yet. Hello, Fox. How are you? Are you good? Are you good? Are you happy? Are you enjoying yourself in Wales? Good lad. See if your cousin will be here a little bit later. So I'll just walk over here, guys, and we'll see if we can get a little view. But hello, Willow. Are you all right there, Willow? Good. We'll just get a look down the valley and uh, see how pretty it is. I oh, know, it's super amazing, aren't they? There you go, guys. As I say, it's blotted out because of the, uh, the mist. And I hope that you can hear me. It's a bit windy up here, but all said and done, there you go. It's very, very pretty. Stunning where we are. Absolutely stunning. But there you go. And then round that way again. All the way over there. And down there. So yeah. Very pretty. Beautiful place. See the... Uh, views behind me. I'm so sorry that that's well you can just about make out the shape of the uh, the land behind me but as I say there's an awful lot of cover there but it is stunning it's absolutely beautiful I'm thoroughly enjoying myself thoroughly look at these sheep very cool they are very cute and um, tasty, I should think. <laughs> With the right sauce. <laughs> Look at that, it's gorgeous. Beautiful place. Very high. Just lovely. So, there you go, guys. That's where we are. Sugar loaf, or I'm probably butchering the word, but penny fal. It's probably completely wrong pronunciation so we'll go with sugar loaf so that's where we are at the moment it's absolutely gorgeous as you can see beautiful just breathtakingly stunning I'm very happy here very very happy indeed I could live somewhere like this I honestly could I'm not sure about Hazel but if I were uh, an unmarried single man, or with the with the woman who loved the environment, the countryside, 
then uh, this is where you'd find me living somewhere exactly like this. There you go, guys. There's the uh, some map of the area. It's quite a vast, vast space up here. But uh, little boys crying, bless him. But um, I don't think he's too keen on walking. But yeah, but it's, it's it's gorgeous. I don't know how many times I can say that, but you can't really find the words to express how stunning it is up here. It's absolutely gorgeous. So there you go, a family up there, off for a little walk. Probably be joining them soon. So there you go. Right, guys, I've just walked up the hill a bit, and uh, it's sort of lifting. I think the mist is lifting a bit. You can start. See a little bit clearer now, so yeah. I've just come up this hill a little bit, it's way down there in the car park. So, yeah, we'll get a better view. Hopefully, it will lift a bit more and we'll see, see it a little bit, a little bit better. But, yes, absolutely gorgeous. All right, onwards and upwards. Onwards and upwards. Just found this little treasure. So this is on sort of sugar loaf itself. So they've got vineyards, very cool. And they've got a stream that runs through it. And then the little cafe up there where we're gonna go and have a quick cup of tea and a little bit of a uh, little bit of rest. But yeah, very, very pretty. More vineyards all over there, look. As far as the eye can see. Around there. There you go. Very pretty. And all the way down there where the kids are. All the way up there to the cafe. Hello, Hazel. Hi. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. Cup of tea? Absolutely. Cup of tea. So today you find us in a very, very pretty village in Wales and um, it's quite well known. As we came in, I saw a statue. I didn't know where, where we were going. And um, this statue, is a, I kind of guess this guy was a bit folkloric. I think he was around in the 19th century. He was some kind of reverend, I believe. Bear with me, there's a lorry going past. Sorry about this. Any second now. Right, so it's kind of a folkloric legend and what it was, um, or what it is, is there was a guy in Wales in this tiny little village in the 19th century. I think he was some sort of reverend or something, or he classed himself as a reverend. I'll find out more now. But I remember reading about it and seeing a TV program about it some years ago. And um, he was also uh, kind of a druid. And he was a very eccentric character in the town or in the village. And um, now they've got sort of a statue up to him. So he's, you know, he's, he's well-renowned and well-known. Um, but he was considered, I think, one of the eccentrics. And uh, a lot of people, I think there was, a, uh, I'm not too sure. I think there was a little bit of dark history went on with him, but we'll, we'll find out a little bit more as we go along. See you in a second. So this is the chap here, William Price. And he was a surgeon chartist, a self-styled druid. And uh, this is his village. And it's quite well renowned, it's quite well known this village. Hello, hello. It's very pretty, as you can see. It's absolutely stunning. Fun. And there he is again. That's it. William Price, 1800 to 1893, surgeon chartist. Now, Fox is going out to see him. What's the town called Hazel the Village? Clan Trissant. Who? Clan I'm going to butcher the name. Clan Trissant. Clan. Clum. Cl no. Cl it's not I don't know. Cl Trissant. Anyway, there you go. William Price. Guess what? I've only found another cafe. More tea. Yes, please. Are you all right there, Fox? Fox, are you all right there? How are you doing? You're doing all right? Oh dear. It's 
throwing his mic on the floor. What are you doing that for? Mic drop. It was a mic drop moment. You're right. Did you see a big step? Is it very big? All right. Fair enough. Was it big as you? Was it? Wow. That's a big old step. Yes. So William Price um, was, uh, as I say, he was a bit of a not a bit. He was a complete eccentric, the man. And uh, as you saw, he was a self-styled druid. I think that the local church had some sort of problem with him. I think because he was so sort of erred on the side of esoteric that um, he wasn't really in favour much. I, I do know some bits about him, but I can't remember. I seem to remember... Maybe I'm mixing him up with somebody, but I seem to remember somebody else, or maybe him who had more than one wife, or... I can't remember. It was something along those lines. I'll have to look it up and let you know. But he was quite the character of all accounts, and of course there's a big statue to him now in the middle of the village. And um, what's the village? How do you pronounce the village? I'm going to get Hazel to do it because she's Welsh. Tell me. Who? I don't know. I don't know. No, what did you say? Cla. It's Welsh anyway, I can't pronounce it. I'm not going to ruin it and insult Welsh people because I can't pronounce it. So I'm not going to, I'm not, I won't do it justice, I'm not going to do it. But um, yeah, I might ask somebody who's Welsh to tell you. We'll see. So I'm going to try and pronounce it now. I did ask the young lady in the cafe and she put me right. It's double L, so it's Flan Trissant. Is that right? Is it Trissant, Hazel? Flan Trissant. I hope I've done that justice. If not, I apologise to everybody who's remotely Welsh out there. And Willow's got a chocolate with chicks on it. Doesn't that beat everything? It's very, what, me or the chick? Yeah, me, that's right. See you in a bit. Right, so hi guys, again I'm back in the car and um, just um, thinking about the, um, thinking about what I was saying about the paranormal, I, I don't want people to think that there aren't good people in it, there are a few good people still in the paranormal, there's, um, you know, there's some really decent people out there, but on the whole I think for me it's been outweighed by the negative um, and I don't really do drama. I don't want to get involved in drama. I just want a quiet life. I want a peaceful life. And I just want to go about my business and enjoy the things that I do. And um, if that means that I've got to remove myself from a situation, then that's exactly what I'm going to do. And as, as much as I love ghost hunting and the paranormal, um, you know, it, it, I think, as I said before, everything's got a shelf life and it's come to the end of its natural, or it's come to its conclusion. So it's come to its natural end, as it were, for me. So I'm just going to pull away from it and um, and just do some do some of my other hobbies and, and put those up on this channel. And I, as I say, I probably will be changing the name of the channel. Um, I just wanted to thank everybody who has subscribed to me again. As I said before, I really do appreciate it. You You can't imagine how much. And thank you for subbing. And again, you know, if you want to unsub completely understand there's no hard feelings from my from my sort of side uh if it wasn't what you subscribed for then that's fine and if you want to stay thank you ever so much i really appreciate it and as i say there will be um different kinds of videos put up um so yeah that's it really but again you know i'm not i'm not going to tar everybody with the same brush because that's not fair um, you know, there's a lot and lots of good people out there. Um, there's my friend Gary. You've seen Gary. You've seen Adam. Both lovely, lovely fellows. Um, you know, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be with them forever now. You know, um, I've also got my friend Phil and Sarah. Wonderful people. Um, genuine people. Honest people. Truthful people. And uh, they're the type that if they don't agree with you or they think that there's something not right, they will tell you. They won't be negative about it. They won't go behind your back. They will actually tell you. And I prefer people to be sort of honest and upfront than nice to my face and then sort of critical or nasty when I'm not around behind my back. So, and that's the reason that it's kind of not pushed me out. I think that... You know, nobody can nobody can push you out. It's got to be your decision, and this is my decision. And my decision is that I've I've had enough. I've, I'm done. Um, 
as I say, I will be doing other investigations, but I'll probably be doing them more with Gary and Adam um, and my friend Dawn, but it will be rather infrequent, you know. Um, and so because of that, I will change the name of the channel because there's no point in having a, a, a channel that's not paranormal anymore um or just puts little bits of paranormal um videos up i'll also be doing stuff with damon as well and hopefully rick van man and, and hopefully uh i'll be doing stuff with austin as well um austin from skudo camper or west country um I can't, what's he, oh dear i can't believe he's it will come to me anyway you know you know him from skudo camper and also rick from rick van man so i'll be doing stuff with them as well um so yeah, there's going to be lots of different flavours there, and um, if you want to stay, great. If you don't, thank you ever so much. I really appreciate it. And if you stay, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Speak to you guys a little bit later. Bye now.